rules and regulations. And please remember the players, coaches, and officials are trying their best to expect all fans and attendance to use sportsmanship and encouragement. Introduce here Wise Wolves lineup. We're going to start with our substitutes, number 13, Junior Amaya Kabaz. Number 5, sophomore Emery Martinez. Number 16, freshman Ariana Atwell. And number 11, sophomore Leslie Wallace. And the starting lineup for the Wise Wolves, number 8, sophomore KK Curry. Number 1, senior Ayana Acosta. Number 14, senior Dahlia King. Number 6, sophomore Abby Miller. Number three, sophomore Jazz Barrera. Number 10, junior Ariana Flores Acosta. Number 12, sophomore Ashley Vippen. Number seven, sophomore Danica Hall. Number 15, sophomore Megan Blakeney. And number four, freshman Maddie Park. The Titans are coached by assistant coach Carter and head coach Jones. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing your Manor Mustangs lineup, starting with our substitute sophomore number three, Dee Dee Sorrells Wright. Substitute senior number six, Larry Gold. And number seven, Mia Macias, sophomore. And tonight's starting lineup, batting first, left fielder, senior, number five, Delilah De Los Santos. Pitcher, senior, number one, Iris Jimenez. Shortstop, senior, number 13, Marlene rodriguez Miche. Second base, senior, number 10, Demaya Curtis. Third baseman, junior, number 12, Ja'Kayla Plummer. Catcher, sophomore, number 14, Destiny Ruffin. First base, senior, number 8, Haley Alvarez. Center fielder, senior, number 9, Katrina Basta. And right fielder, sophomore, number 2, Jamie Gomez. The Mustangs are coached by assistant coach Davis and coach Nava and headed by coach Soloff. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise and remove your ball caps as we honor America by the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to softball here on Vipe Media. Tyler also is on the call with you here between the matchup. The Maynard Mustangs against the Weiss Wolves. Maynard coming into this game 4-8 and eight on the season. Chilly day this afternoon. 
Temperature in the mid 40s. Light breeze. Maynard winning their last game 9 to 6 against Maynard New Tech. Offense has been pretty lively, 8 runs a game, but defensively giving up about 11 runs a game. Their opponent tonight, Weiss Wolves. Struggling so far to start this this season 20 2021-2022 season, only averaging 1.6 runs per game in their first four games, giving up about 16. They've been run ruled in every single game. Leading off for the Wolves, number eight, sophomore KK Curry. We'll get a chance to start us off here. Top of the first, KK Curry at the plate. That ball just hits before reaching home plate. Iris Jimenez with the long sleeves count now 2-0. A lot of players with long sleeves on tonight. Destiny Ruffin, roughing it with the short sleeves behind the plate. That ball pulled foul. Two and one the count. And a nice rip into left field over the head. That's Delilah De Los Santos out there in left field. Curry able to stretch that one into a double. Attic second, number one, senior Ayana Acosta. Ayana Acosta. Showing bunt. Two and of the count. Solid contact there from Acosta. Going back at the wall. Ball does drop. Here comes Curry, and Curry will score. Acosta is in for, th for three bases on that play. And the struggling offense doesn't look struggling so far. Batting third, number 14, senior Dahlia King. Dahlia King takes one in the dirt. And a shot to center field is caught. Acosta slides in safely at home. No throw. Making it 2-0 visitors. Number six, sophomore, Abby Miller. 
Abby Miller pulls that one down the third baseline, hitting the base. And she's going to hold up after one. Thought about two. Still just a one out here. Seven out fifth. Number three sophomore jazz spot right now. Jazz Barrera, the sophomore. Steps to the plate, takes 1 and 0. That one's in the dirt, 3 and 0. Weiss already four batters in, eclipsing their season average. Just a bit inside, four straight pitches. It's going to lead runners on first and second. Still just the one out. 96, number 10, Junior, Ariana Flores Acosta. Ariana Flores Acosta just a bit inside. Jimenez trying to stay composed out there. This one's going to be fouled. Does go out of play. Hits the top of the dugout. Main are already eclipsing their win total from last year. Just three wins already with four here. Strong start to the season, but Jimenez in a hole here, top of the first. More contact. This one popped up. Going to stay in play. And dropped. Bobbled by Haley Alvarez there. Stays just the one out. Yep. Another shot foul. Flores Acosta staying alive here in this at bat. Runners on first and second. Just a bit inside. Straight to third base. What a catch. Ja'Kayla Plummer. And that saves some real damage. Got to play number 12 sophomore Ashley Vippen. Still runners on first and second now, two outs though. Ashley Vippen. Takes two pitches, count 2-0. and oh. Another one just inside, now 3-0. and oh. Another one inside, base is loaded. To the plate, number seven, sophomore Danica Hall. Danica Hall now to the plate 
for Weiss. Trying to turn it on here. Slow dribbler to third base. Easy for Plummer. And back home to Ruffin. Make, makes it three outs. Jimenez and defense stops the bleeding in the top of the first. Three left on. Weiss heading into the bottom of the second, leading 2-0. We'll be back after a short break. Delilah De Los Santos gets the home team started here, bottom of the first. And just a bit outside there from Megan Blakeney, sophomore on the mound for Weiss. Another one outside. De Los Santos takes a cut. Count now two and one. Now three and one. Mentioned the struggles for Weiss offensively. Only five runs in their first four games. As De Los Santos takes a walk. Batting second for the Mustangs, senior number one, Iris Jimenez. Pitcher Iris Jimenez coming up. Let's finish that thought. As De Los Santos takes second. No play made there as the ball was dropped. Why struggling on defense as well? 47 runs given up in those first four games. And that's excluding their last game as there no information from that. So 47 to 5. They're being outscored in their first three games. A little bit inside, Jimenez. Both pitchers really struggling with some control here. That one misses high, four straight pitches. Batting third, shortstop, senior number 13, Marlene Rodriguez VJ. <laughs> 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 
Rodriguez Miche steps up. Good patience there. Now it's Mayner looking to do some damage. Two runners on, no outs. Being very patient at the plate. Good contact there. Almost stayed fair. De Los Santos on second. Jimenez at first. We already saw the speed from De Los Santos. Two and one the count here. Maynard, very disciplined at the plate here. Not too many swings. We saw that's how Weiss was able to do their damage. A little too patient there. Count now full. I always like that as a hitter, though. Make the pitcher pitch to you. Sometimes you got to be aggressive as a hitter, but you know, make them make them throw a strike. As that one just pulled foul, just like that. Take your chances when they're given to you. Another one inside. Rodriguez Miche really wanting to rip this one down the third baseline. Jazz Barrera there on, almost has a foot in foul territory. Instead takes a pitch inside. Gonna take a trot to first. Batting cleanup, second baseman, senior number ten, Demaya Curtis. Demaya Curtis now comes to the plate. Bases loaded, no outs still. Curtis batting 464 on the year in 10 games played. This one just tipped foul. Sneaks over the net into the stands. Only one home run for Curtis. I'm sure teammates would like to make it two right here. That one just a bit high, two and one the count. And again, Blakeney on the mound struggling with some control behind in the count, three and one. Wheels and deals, and that one's in the dirt. Walks in a run. Batting fifth, third baseman, junior, number 12, Ja'Kayla Plummer. Now four straight walks. De Los Santos stealing second. Otherwise everyone else getting on by walk. 
And just a little chat now for Blakeney as starts to walk in runs. And that seems to do the trick. Kayla Plummer at the plate. Takes ball one. Right up to the shortstop. Mishandled. Had a nasty little hop there. That brings another runner in. Ayana Acosta struggling with that one at shortstop. Kick him to the plate. Catcher sophomore, number 14, Destiny Ruffin. And again, Maynard still with no outs. That one pulled foul. Destiny Ruffin, the catcher. Also with one home run on the season. And that one hit deep into left field. That's going to be two home runs. Grand slam. Extra ham for Destiny Ruffin. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a good for a Manor Mustang. Grand slam. What a shot. That one left quick from Ruffin. like that now six to two we knew there would r be runs coming in as both teams giving up over ten runs a game Haley Alvarez coming to the plate Hitting 273 on the year. Looks at ball one. This one right down Main Street, one and one. the time for Blake need a reset no no runners on base all you have to worry about is a foul tip there you're ahead of the count here vital time to get a strikeout and this one's going to be tipped out of play Alvarez stays alive. A senior first baseman for the Maynard Mustangs. As we try and locate a ball. One and two the count. Yeah. 
Got her with a change up there. Vital strikeout from Blakeney. Coming up to the plate, center fielder, senior number nine, Katrina Basta. Let's see, does that dampen Maynard's momentum here? Already up four. That's that one just inside. Katrina Basta having to turn her shoulder to avoid getting hit. Again inside, this one a little bit lower. Again, trying to paint the inside corner, just having some control issues as Blakeney. This one just a little bit more down the plate. It's going to be fired to first base by Acosta. Two outs in the bottom of the first here. Coming up right fielder sophomore, number two, Jamie Gomez. And Gomez lines one into left field. Tip drill. Out in left field. Actually Vippend. Gets a second chance to catch that one. Retires the side. That's going to retire the side with the White Wolves 2. Your Mater Mustang 6. Coming up to the top of the second after this. We'll come back for the top of the second. Weiss a chance to answer now. Down four. Coming back to Maynard High School after the break. For the Wolves, we got 15 sophomore Megan Blake and Back here at Maynard High School, P. 
pitcher now getting a chance to hit. Megan Blakeney getting a chance to answer after giving up six runs. And a check swing there. They're going to say she did hold up. Count one and one. There's now Jimenez. Deals that one into the dirt. Taking the jacket off in between innings. Wondering if that maybe frees up some space, some arm movement. Again, giving up two quick runs, but then leaving three stranded. That's really the difference in this game. What both teams were do were able to do with the bases loaded. Weiss leaves him stranded as Maynard does the opposite in Destiny Ruff Ruffin hits one over the left field fence. Count goes full now at three and two. Pitcher against pitcher. Pitcher. After the walk to Blakeney, KK Curry top of the lineup hits a shot to second base, unable to be fielded by Curtis. Now runners on first and second for Weiss. Senior Ayana Acosta. Strike one to Ayana Acosta. Pass ball by Ruffin. Advances runners now, second and third. Both teams just struggling to get early outs from the first few batters. Strike two now. Another chance for Jimenez. That one just a bit inside. This one hit out to center field. Catch is made by Basta. Ball is passed at home. Both runners will come in to score. They do get first out, but not with a little bit of damage. Number 14, Senior Dahlia King. Dahlia King still looking for her first hit. So that one's in the dirt. Again, now's a good time for Jimenez. Just kind of clear her head mentally. That one hit out to right. Just does pull foul. Still have that two-run lead.
Winds and fires another one out to center. This one a little bit deeper by Basta. And does drop inside the park. Good throw to third. Basta able to hold the runner at second. Up to the plate, number six sophomore, Abby Miller. Abby Miller swinging at the first pitch. Just a bit inside the second one. Corners playing just a bit in in case a uh, squeeze bunts laid down by Miller. Another one inside. Again, just the one out here. Three straight inside. And Miller digs that one down low. Just does reach the left field fence. Runner being sent home. Miller standing double for her. And now it's six to five. Little sh play, number three, sophomore Jazz Barrera. Two for two on the night for Abby Miller. A little shuffle in the outfield. In between pitches there. In between batters, excuse me. Still in the top of the second here. That one ripped. In between short and third. Runners now at the corners. Damage just keeps coming. Up to the plate, number 10, Junior, Ariana Flores Acosta. Got an early start there from first base on the steal attempt. Costly error there, making it two outs. Still tying run. Just at third base. That one just a bit inside. Count. Got to be 1-0. and No pitch on that first one. It's really been a difference in approach by the batters themselves. Maynard being a lot more patient, daring Blakeney to throw strikes as Jimenez gets a pass ball. Runner comes home and that ties up the game. Seeing Weiss be a lot more aggressive with the bats is right there. Another shot into left field. It's four straight hits now for the Wolves. Sophomore number 12, Ashley Vippen.
Ashley Bippen walked her first time. Takes two pitches upstairs. Runner goes. Throw just a bit high as a collision out there near second base. So we're going to have a stoppage of play here. Rodriguez Miche. Taking a spill. Doesn't look too worse for wear there. Just kind of brushing the dust off. Talking to c Coach. So runner advances. Still two outs here. 3-0 and oh the count. Swing and a miss. Little dribbler to third. I'm gonna say it hit foul. Hit foul territory and rolled in. Either that or off the batter. Either way. Full count. Huge pitch coming up for Jimenez. That one ripped out into left field. Over the head. And up against the fence. Runner comes home. Weiss Wolves now showing their power on the bats. Up to the plate, number seven, sophomore Danica Hall. Danica Hall trying to rip that one as well instead. Nothing but air. Impressive showing with two outs here from this offense. Another one just over the left field lot. Left fielder's head goes through the legs of the left fielder. Hall going to go in with the standing triple. Six straight hits for Weiss. To the plate, sophomore number 15, Megan Blakeney. This one out into right. And that does retire the side. Not before the lead. Changes hands again. Weiss going into this one. Into the bottom of the second here. Up 8-6. to six. We'll be back to Maynard High School after the break. Well, we have a break in the action. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors. There's still time to have your best year yet. You can find the hottest styles, all at prices you'll love, at Academy Sports and Outdoors. You can shop online or in stores, Academy 
Coming to the top of the lineup, left fielder, senior number five, Delilah De Los Santos. Mustangs coming to bat here. Delilah De Los Santos walked her first time. Now with a shot. Goes foul. And another slap. This one again foul. 0 and 2. Looked a little bit of a check swing there from De Los Santos. And got her. Dropped ball, though. We saw what De Los Santos can do with her speed last time. Pitcher, senior number one, Iris Jimenez. Pitcher against pitcher now, this time flipped. And Jimenez is going to be just foul. Look to be within a foot from our vantage point up in the press box here. Let's see if Blakeney can complete the strikeout this time. In the dirt ball one. Strike three, big out there. Shortstop, senior, number 13, Marlene rodriguez Miche. Outs have been hard to come by for either team, so a strike out there. Really helping out the Wolves. Now Marlene rodriguez Miche. Up to to bat. This is where the power is. Four home runs on the year. That's double of the rest of her team combined. And De Los Santos easily takes second base there. Count 2-0. and oh. You know, trying to take her second walk to first base of the night. And another patient at bat yields her just that. Second base and senior, number 10, Demaya Curtis. Demaya Cur Curtis trying to get another walk on her resume tonight as well this time takes a slap at it towards the dugout
Feels like Maynard really needs to get at least one run, maybe tie it. They've shown le lethality of their bats in that first r inning. As this one this goes inside. Good job from Curtis getting out of the way. But again, with Jimenez and her struggles on the mound tonight, how long do they keep her out there? How long do the bats of Weiss stay hot? And right back to the pitcher. And just does double up. Tremendous play from Blakeney. Boy, Blink can miss that one. That'll retire the side. Huge play from her. And we go to the top of the third. to the plate, number eight, sophomore, K.K. Curry. Top of the lineup here as Curry ducks out of the way of that one. Overcorrection here from Jimenez. Makes it 2 0. Oh. This one landing short. Second number one, senior Ayana Acosta. Four straight out of the strike zone and Curry at first. This one ripped and knocked down at third base. Still going to slap out a single it is Ayana Acosta. Senior Dahlia King. Yeah. Dahlia King now up to bat runners on first and second. Two run lead for the visitors. No outs here. That one low for ball two. Runners advance as Ruffin unable to find the ball on the ground. And 
Another one just hitting short. And another pass ball here. Throw home. Not in time. Both runs will score. We got a standing triple for the Dahlia King. And a timeout is called. As the visitors extending their lead to four now. As a chill sets here in Central Texas out at Maynard High School just northeast of downtown Austin. Thank you for tuning in on this Tuesday night. Tyler also is here on the call with you. Sun is setting. Temps are getting a little bit chilly out here. But the bats of the visitors have remained hot. Eight of the last ten batters registering a hit. The other That's two. The play, sophomore number six, Abby Miller. The other two were an out and a walk. Jimenez doing a lot better job throwing strikes is that one swung and miss but again the, the bats of Weiss have just been a lot more aggressive a lot more active Maynard a lot more patient at the plate this one ripped foul Of course, Maynard doing their damage in that first inning, getting a grand slam from Ruffin. Another one short here. One and two the count. Chance for Jimenez to register the first out of the inning here. Swing, another foul ball. Two and two the count. Stared in for ball three. Took about three seconds to get there. And Jimenez deals and that one line to left. Runner will score, but they do register the first out. Sophomore number three, Jazz Barrera. Another one in the dirt, 1-0. and To start it off to Jazz Barrera. This one again ripped to left. It's got a drop over the head, and Barrera trots in for a double. Junior number 10, Ariana Flores Acosta.
Weiss is just punishing the third base and the left fielders tonight for Mayner. Also capitalizing on the mental mistakes from the, from the infield as this one popped up in foul territory. Not able to double up the runner at third and that's going to send her home as the pass ball. Another mental mistake. Errant throw leads it to 12 to 6. Sophomore number seven. Excuse me, number twelve, Ashley Vivian. Ashley Vippen up now. One walk, one hit. Almost a second one there. It just does pull foul. This one ripped again to left. This one's going to stay shorter though and that's three outs four runs added on by the visitors extending their lead to 12 to 6 now we head to the bottom of the third here in Maynard coming back after the break Up to the plate for the Mustangs, third baseman, junior, number 12, Jaquela Plummer. Plummer now up to the plate. Already one hit in the game, looks at ball one. Wings at the second pitch. Plumber batting 355 this year. In there for strike number two. by her feet. Let's see if Maynard can dig themselves out of a hole here. Six runs. Put up six in the first inning. And that tremendous play by Blakeney to plague them in the second as Blakeney retires batter number one.
pitching and helping on the defensive Up end. To play catcher, or catcher, sophomore, number 14, Destiny Ruffin. Destiny Ruffin now with the bases empty. See if she can hit another home run. A lot of power. No contact for strike one. Blake needs to just look a little bit more comfortable out there. Maybe it's strike number two is in there. Maybe it was that last inning where had one come straight back to her, kind of woke her up a little bit. Get the blood flowing here. Has some more run support there as a three strike strikeout. Three pitch strikeout, excuse me. Gets out number two. Those all look to be in the same place as well. First baseman, senior number eight, Haley Alvarez. Haley Alvarez looks at one up high. Maynard still looking for a base runner. Here in the bottom of the third. Count now two and one. Just a bit inside for three and one. Alvarez who struck out her last time. Takes ball four, heads to first base. And Maynard's in business. Center fielder, senior number nine, Katrina Basta. First pitch strike for Katrina Bassa. Side for ball two. Again, if you look at the Weiss defensive production, giving up over 15 runs a game. Only giving up six here. Here's that patient batting from Maynard that we saw in the first couple innings. And now count full. Blakeney with the opportunity to get out of, with no damage put on. Give her offense. Chance to maybe get this into run rule territory. And swing. Tipped foul. Catcher shaking her hand a little bit. Maybe a little deflection there.
Full count pitches in the dirt. Up to the plate, right fielder, sophomore number two, Jamie Gomez. Jamie Gomez looks at a strike. Runners on first and second now. It's very methodical from Mayner. Not going to see much bat to contact, but you're going to see very disciplined plate. You see great plate discipline as that ball is tipped foul. 0-2 now. Down quickly here, 0 and 2 the count. That one well outside for Jamie Gomez. This one right down to short, bobbled. And runner heads to second, now heads to third. And was well ahead of the throw. Well behind the throw, excuse me. Run does count. But that will retire the side. And that's going to retire the side right now with the Weiss Wolves 12. Your Manor Mustang 7. Ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to visit the concession stands loaded on the third base side of the stadium. This is provided by the Manor High School softball boosters so please help out our ladies we're going to have to come back at the top of the fourth here just momentarily Back here, top of the fourth. Home team down five. As Hall looks at one outside. This one popped up to the left field. Easily snagged there for the first out. Sophomore, Megan Blakeney. This one drilled in the left as well. This one kind of dropped though. As Blakeney takes the first pitch, or second pitch, excuse me. Gets on base. For the Wolves, number eight, sophomore, KK Curry. KK Curry hitting that one deep and over the fence. Two run shot. KK Curry with her third hit. Three hits and a walk. 
for the leadoff. So Weiss pouring it on here, extending the lead to seven in the top of the fourth. Batting second, number one, senior Ayana Acosta. This one popped up. It's going to be in between, but just able to get there. The wheels on Delilah De Los Santos. Batting third, senior number 14, Dahlia King. Dahlia King up now with two outs. Nobody on. Looks at one in the dirt. This one inside. This one rocketed to shortstop. It's going to get through for King. She's going to reach base. Three for four for King on the night. Batting fourth, number six sophomore, Abby Miller. Looking to take second here. Two balls, no strikes. This one ripped straight to third and thrown over to first. Low throw, though, gets by as runners will hold at second and third. So a chance to get out of the inning ends up. Make another errant throw. That was a rocket, though, to third base. Up to the plate, number three, sophomore Jazz Barrera. Barrera now to the plate, two hits, one walk to her name. Chance to get a couple RBIs on the night. This one ripped to third again. Same type of play, much better throw. Ends the inning before any damage can be done. 14 to 7 is our score going into the bottom of the fourth.
Los Santos. Delilah De Los Santos up now, bottom of the fourth. Looks at ball one. Now ball two. That one shot over to third, but Always foul. Two and one the count. It'll be interesting to see when Maynard becomes a little bit more aggressive. Already down seven now. Ended up getting one in that last inning. Ball three. Saw plate discipline lead to that grand slam in the first inning. This one straight back to the pitcher. Bobbled out there at short. De Los Santos reaches. That's her second hit of the night. By far the best hitter for the home team. Pitcher senior number one, Iris Jimenez. Jimenez coming back to the plate. One walk, one strikeout. That one low in the dirt. De Los Santos has to be chased back. Swing, De Los Santos goes. Tag does get there. Good throw there from the catcher. De Los Santos looks like she got a good jump, but instead will be the first out. Also, pitch was in there for a strike, one and one to Iris Jimenez. Foul back, strike number two. And strike number three. Golden start to this fourth inning for the visitors. Shortstop senior number 13, Marlene Rodriguez Miche. Two strikeouts for Jimenez on the night. Blakeney with four strikeouts in total. Is this one right back to her? Heads to the second base. Bobbled. And Rodriguez Miche going to stay at first. Getting the first hit of the inning. Her first hit after taking two walks. So that's to go opposite and Second baseman, senior number 10, Demaya Curtis. Really good showing from Blakeney, though, after giving up six runs in the first, only one since then. Looking a lot more comfortable these last couple innings as a shot straight to short. Flipped over to second as Curtis leaves one stranded. Mainer offense stagnant here as we go to the top of the fifth. Still trailing by seven runs. We'll be back to Maynard High School after the break.
While we have a moment, I'd like to thank again our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors. There's still time to make this year your hottest year yet. Or you can shop online or in stores to find all the hottest sports apparel from top brands such as Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans, all at prices you'll love. So stop on by at Academy Sports and Outdoors or shop online at academy.com. Jimenez deals one. Down low for ball one. Aviana Flores Acosta. Looking at one and one here. Swing and down to third base line. Knocked in play. Hard to tell if that was going foul. I think it might have been just skipping over the base. Sophomore number 12, Ashley Vippen. Jaquela Plummer there knocking it down, avoiding any extra bases. Now Ashley Vippen. And safe is the call at second. Up to the plate, sophomore, number seven, Danica Hall. First pitch outside. to Danica Hall. One hit on the night, one walk. This one dribbled to short, able to be knocked down. And that will lead to an out. Out to the plate, sophomore number 15, Megan Blakeney. Megan Blakeney, the sophomore pitcher. One for two with a walk. Still just the one out here. That one just curving outside. That one in the dirt, four straight for a walk. Bases are loaded, one out. That's the lineup for the Wolves sophomore, number eight, KK Curry. This is the last person you want to see. If you're Jimenez, home run last time, a walk, and two hits before that. Takes ball one there. That one drilled straight up, and she's going to get a couple more RBIs to her name. Two, as a matter of fact. Runners now at the corners. Four for four now for KK Curry. Up to the plate, number one, senior Ayana Acosta. Ayana Acosta up now. Curry goes. No throw. Runners now second and third. Just the one out here. Up 
This one bobbled over at third. Runs going to score. Curry stays at second. Acosta gets her third hit of the night. Three for five. Up to the plate, 14, senior Dahlia King. We're at 17 to seven now. This one popped up in between. Got to call it nearly hard collision there. Just slowed up by both. Curry slides in to home. King st stays at second. Boy, communication is key out there in the outfield. Both seem to be okay. Ball was caught though, so second out recorded and we have two runs batted in there. Abby Miller now to the plate. Looks at ball one. Runner in advances. After a little conversation between umpires, it is three outs. Questioning the call, questioning the outs. We're going to take another break here. Maynard trying to fight for their lives here. Down 11. Bottom of the fifth coming up. Back in Maynard High School after the break. Junior number 12, Ja'Kayla Plummer. Kayla Plummer now ripping that one deep. And this one's going to be out. One pitch, one this run. Off the bottom of your fifth inning with a Mater Mustang home run. That's exactly what you need if you're the Mustangs. Let's see if that spark ignites the fire that is the Mater Mustang bats we saw them in the first inning haven't seen them much since number 14 Destiny Ruffin Destiny 
Destiny Ruffin already hit one home run. And that one shot straight to second. So a lot more aggressive bat swinging here from the home squad. Coming up first baseman senior number eight, Haley Alvarez. But as you can see, high risk, high reward. One out now in the bottom of the fifth. Score 18 to eight. Hannah Alvarez takes strike one. Alvarez with a strikeout and a walk tonight. Just a bit too inside for the umps liking. Blakeney deals again inside. Three and one the count now. It's nice to hit, hit home runs, but it's even better when your teammates are on base. Alvarez looks at a strike there. And strike three. Second strikeout of the night for Alvarez. Fifth for Blakeney. Coming up, center fielder, senior number nine, Katrina Basta. First pitch in the dirt to Katrina Basta. 0 oh, for 1 with a walk. Only a couple hitters having any success on Blakeney as of late. De Los Santos with two hits and a walk. Home runs by Plummer and Grand Slam by Ruffin as that one near the feet. 3-0 and the count. Rodriguez Miche with two walks and a hit. Four pitch walk there. Up to the player right fielder, sophomore number two, Jamie Gomez. Jamie Gomez looks at strike one. Back to the bag. Another one in the dirt. This one popped up. Diving attempt in foul territory. Nearly a spectacular catch. KK Curry trying to put her stamp on the game defensively. Already done it offensively 
What a night for her. Four for four. Two run shot. Also a walk to her name. This one hit hard to third. Good jump though. But it's a better throw to first. That will end the game via the run rule. 18 to 8 in favor of the visiting Weiss Wolves. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for tonight's game. We're the Weiss Wolves. We'll stay at 18 over 8 over our Mainer Mustangs. Thank you for being so kind of staying around tonight for our game. We'll see you next time. Everybody have a great night. Have a safe drive home. Thank you. Stick through with a little wrap up here. Again, 18 to 8 in five innings here at Manor High School. I'd like to stay tuned for next week's game. Manor heading to Connolly on the 11th. Weiss going to have a bit of a break before they play Hendrickson on the 22nd. Thank you for spending your Tuesday evening with us. Tyler also is on the call. Thank you for tuning in to Vite Media. We'll see you next time.